Hello lurkers, and hello archaeologists. My name is John Proxy, or at least that's what I call myself on the internet. I'm having a Fatal Frame 3, the tormented adventure. And oh no, what a sad scene this is. They are truly a tormented... Well, he's not tormented, he's dead. But she's tormented by the memories of... Are uh, these memories? Guilty memories. Painful memories. Let's, ah, fuck. Why did I stare right into the light? Let's put, let's put that away. Uh, and uh, make our... Well, we're not beginning the game. We're going to load the game. Uh, uh, if I can find a controller, I should, should have set this up. I wonder... We should get going. You're right. I heard this house was haunted. It is haunted. I can confirm that it is indeed a haunted house. Let's load our game. A terribly smooth opening. No, you know what? I, I, ha no, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. That's, let's move on. Um, Almost seven hours. We've been doing this pretty... Do we have any notes? I've let... I've... Yes, I've got some notes. Uh, which... Oh, hang on. We'll need to be back on widescreen. Make sure we do that then. Right. We are ready for bed. We're in our gym jams. Uh, ready for... I mean, I assume we're ready for bed and we haven't just woken up. That's the sort of thing I should probably write down in the notes. Uh, let's call it spooky memory text so it's not accidentally copied over and we'll hide that for the time being and I mean I think I should just go to sleep but uh, I'm not 100% sure about that hmm yeah I think if she's up she's gonna get dressed properly so this is this is bedtime wear. luckily we're working on Matrix rules, which means when we're in our dreams, we wear what we imagine ourselves to be. Our, our perceived self, our inner self, our real selves. Do I have any keys or anything? Uh, we'll look at our tools. We have ourselves a stone mirror, which is pretty good. Key items. Got a camera and a camera. Hmm. Notes. Okay, we've got a bunch of notes to read. I'll I'll come back and read them in a sec. So I think more people might turn up at some point. The notched arrow has not been unlocked. We'll see if there's anything else. Oh, I see a shiny thing. Surely that's just not just a, a ghost trap, that's a. Okay, well, we have to go down to the other side of the corridor. I'm going to pick an arbitrary direction. This arbitrary direction, left before, right? We probably want to go to the newest place, but I'm just going to randomly walk around until something presents itself. Don't you have me cool. That was something new that presented itself. Maybe I should immediately wake up and give that... Fill him the oh, away. Hmm. I'm gonna do that. I don't know if there's a time limit, so it might be a foolish thing for me to do. But we do have something that is like a pattern, which is going down, taking photographs, waking up, and passing those photographs along. 
Let's go. We're just good. we're gonna do it like that. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna immediately do that. We're gonna wake up, grab a brush, and shake away the makeup. I don't actually know the lyrics. Hello, brother. Wouldn't it... Have they fixed the game enough for you to justify that? Or do you want to actually get the money's worth out of that? I've got some musty film. I don't think we can... Hang on. We have a gang. Oh! I need to do a thing. I need to refresh uh, some um, streams so they count so I can see who's watching. Okay, that's fine. Testing, testing. Wonderful. Uh, it's, that's not what I sound like. Why am I leaning onto an accent? Um, I don't know. A uh, co-worker, if you want to finish that sentence. Um... <laughs> right. Not sure everyone really wants to be identified by how they are connected to John. But, um... Six degrees of proxy, but um, anyway, so I've distracted myself by uh, refreshing the viewer count. Uh, I don't, I there definitely was a cat, it might be in the room, I'll check. But uh, we're doing the film, we're developing. Let's confirm. A mother and daughter have emerged dressed in kimonos. Did they once go missing too? If so, it must have been a long time ago. All the film's been developed. So, I think that burns away an hour, right? But I don't know if that means anything. Or does it burn away a day? No, it burns away a day. Days and hours don't make any sense in this game. We can't get the good ending anyway, because you have to play on hard to get the good ending, like all the other games, I expect. We'll look around for the cat. There is a ginger, uh, Tom, uh, sitting up there. Uh, up, up there. Um, oh, there's the cat! I found the cat um, on top of the, uh, the, the, the bathroom in the corner where they like to keep watch. Pet the, pet the cat. Oh yeah, there is not a pet cat, but you can look at cat, which is in the olden times that that's that's as much as you could interact with cats. So, so yes, the uh, the the cat has been beholden. It's not as good though because like not only do you want to like you know cat be affectionate cat but there's also mildly annoyed cat and I want to do both of those things and I can do neither right now. <laughs> Looking at cat is not enough to mildly annoy it. I want to go hello. I can do that to a real cat right now though. Yes. There's no slow blink command. Uh you wake up. Got more film. Having trouble sleeping? Do you need to sleep in here with me? I am no and no. Hey, this is it. Uh, about that photo on the, of the doll on the skewer. I wasn't able to find anything on it. I thought it may be similar to the legends of the straw dolls. Passed on in Tono. Anyway, it has something to do with folklore, so you might want to find something in one of you's books. We should sell all this stuff, and we could go to the used bookstore. Thanks, I'll go take a look. If you need anything else, just let me know. 
Okay, I've got, got the second. I mean, where do you think I've been getting these photographs from? Okay. To the used bookstore. I guess it's in this direction. On this bare shelf, there are old pieces of machinery that you used to collect. There are typed and handwritten letters on several books left out of the desk. Arranged on the bookcase are used collection of folklore, philosophy, and anthropology books. In the bookcase, uh, in the bookcase is the book Occultism. Just the, Occultism. It doesn't have an author. <laughs> Uh, Amakura wrote about this in his letter. The Camera Obscura is a device used to capture the other world made by occultist Kinohiko Asu. This camera, not the other world. From the late 19th century. I've hurt my tongue and I'm actually struggling to speak. I didn't think that'd be an issue. Uh, it is, slightly. Uh, he, from the late 19th century to the early 20th. He tried to communicate with and get proof of this other world. The term occultist refers to people involved in the movement to verify Eastern thought using contemporary Western technology. Does it? Kinohiko uh, Aso is a prime example of such an occultist. The Camera Obscura was one of his quintessential experiments. He modified the... What? He modified the... At the time, still rare camera. No, it does make sense. I would appreciate maybe some com some commas or something to to make <laughs> that meaning that because you put a comma there in a really weird place. He modified comma the at the time still rare camera comma by adding no hang on whatever. Uh, what did he do to it to modify it? Well, uh, let me tell you, he added a special lens in the film. It was supposed to capture unbelievable things, normally invisible to the naked eye, like a, the so-called different phase of intervals and spirits and ghosts. They are very rare nowadays, but apparently these cameras are still traded among curio dealers. Most have been broken, and we have lost the chance to see the other world, as well as Asso's achievements for eternity. You've added the camera obscura and the real proof of the spirit world to your file. Uh, cool. And it's just telling us to look at shelves. But he did. In the bookcase, there is a book with a projector similar to the one you photographed in the mansion. The spirit world. The device shown here was left by uh, Kunihiko Asao. He, uh, Aso, um... He used it to substantiate the existence of and communication with the spirit world. He was a brilliant scientist and philosopher, and by appropriating Western culture in the late 19th and early, early 20th centuries, he combined new technology with his theory on the spirit world to prove its existence. What I should, I, if I could do voices, I'd, I should do this in the voice of um, uh, Garth Marenghi. Uh, it, it, can't do it. Uh, I was gonna try. Uh, ooh, that was a door then. It is said. No, I can't do it. <laughs> to immediately abandon that thought. Okay, I may have to not drink that. It is said that a few of his devices were able to capture an unbelievable existence from the spirit world, but. Posthumously, uh, from that singular beginning, his devices became a fashion item among dilettantes, 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 and were scattered about the country. Dilettantes just goddamn love old cameras, spooky cameras, 
just super popular among the dilettantes. One such device is this projector. Having completed the experimental stage of the camera obscura, camera that photographs the other world, see above, he created a screen upon which to project the special images captured on the film. The records say that the images were projected that could, could not be seen when they were photographed. The art of projecting in the spirit world. Cool, it looks like I should have done this a while back. Skewered dolls. In many regions, particularly in the mountain areas, there remains a folk practice of dressing up dolls uh, they make from straw, earth or cloth, and worship them, I beg your pardon, worship, worshipping them as idols. The doll in the picture was reported by an Awate resident. It is called Kun Kushimi, and when somebody dies in the village, they weave the air, the hair of the deceased into the straw and have it wear his or her kimono. I guess they're big straw people. The doll is fixed onto skewers and put before a shrine at the edge of the mountain. The doll is enshrined for up to one month after the death and after that period passes, it is cast into the river behind the shrine together with various offerings. In this region's tradition, there is said to be a cave in the mountains connecting the land of the gods. The dead who became Kushini stand between the village and the mountain, and they take upon the village's evil and head to the land of the gods. It's, you know, he, uh, like, um, what is it called? You go, to, you go to a foreign place and you go, look, I bought some tat, have some tat, but it's like evil. Evil tat that you give to the gods. I've got some evil tat from the real world. I died. Uh, here you go, gods. Uh, what? Well, there's a word, and I can't remember the word. But uh, oh shit, what's the word? You know the specific the objects they sell to tourists. Anyway, uh, in a neighbouring village, there is said to be a similar doll called Igushi, but this one is the spirit of a person who died young, and it is deified in the mountains. In one interpretation, both village and mountain have a protective deity standing in the border between people and gods. In another sense, burdening the dead with evil or deifying the spirit of the young in the mountain connotes human sacrifice. Souvenir! There we go, sorry. My brain isn't working. Just, yeah. But, her gods got some souvenirs. It's evil! Ah, oh, you love a bit of evil. You, you buy a bit off, and it you see you see like it's the same all the way through. It's it's the same type of evil, <laughs> candied evil. It's delicious. Mmm. Uh, you, I I did that to my fire. Cool. Let's review. Some notes, as there are a whole bunch. We know about the bruise already. But here's some pictures of the bruise. It spreads, we learned about that before. The bruise, that it comes from the dreams and the house. The disappearances. According to Miku's research, Yoshino Takagawa was asleep almost all the time before she disappeared. After the incident, she slept longer and longer hours, and whenever she woke up, she would hum what sounded like a lullaby. The lullaby that she hummed. I heard children's voices singing on the other side of the red door, deep within the manor. Oops, didn't read that. It was a lullaby accompanied by the sound of hammering, and sung in some strange dialect I never heard before. The, uh, the human columns, yes, of course. Uh, the mound of graves in the courtyard inside the manor. In the ruins of the old castle, the bones of people thought to have worked on construction were found under... Mound. Shrine carpenters were buried alive as sacrifices. Did the same thing happen there too? The abandoned house. Uh, which uh, we saw at the start, of course. The man of sleep. Inside the house was a courtyard. It was snowing. There was a line of graves and even older houses looming up behind. The human shaped stains. Sacred rope was hung along the narrow corridor behind the door where I heard the moaning. The halls were covered 
in black human-shaped stains. There was a similar stain left behind after Yoshino Takagawa went missing. I read in one of the papers about mummified bodies being discovered behind the same kinds of stain. Skewered dolls. Inside the manor, in a courtyard surrounded by a corridor, there was a tree wrapped in sacred rope. Around it stood the straw dolls of skewered on stakes. According to an old book on folklore, the practice belongs to an old folk cult. The dolls stood between the border, uh, between the mountains, divine, of course, and the village, human, functioning as protective deities or amulets. What is there in that courtyard beyond that door? People. Uh, we've got a couple of new people, apparently. We've got Miku, Hinasaka, Hinasaki. Uh, she's got a, cat, a picture of the cat as well. Uh, the girl who works as my assistant. She's the sister of Yu's best friend. Heard she lost a relative. The photo on her desk showed her with a young man who looked like her brother. She's always been a cheerful person, but I haven't seen her smile as happily as in that picture. I wonder if the person she lost was someone she was very close to. Maybe she lost someone special, just like me. Cat. Kunihiko Asao, the scholar of the occult who lived in the second half of the 19th century. His research, known as Mystical Silence, I thought it was called occultism, attempted to use the new Western technology to explain old Japanese folk beliefs and traditions about the other world. After completing his camera obscura, capable of capturing images of the other world, he made a projector using the same technology. Using this... He was able to play back supernatural images recording on, on film that he could not be seen on conventional equipment. And of course the art articles. The camera obscura. An old camera called the camera obscura. It's an old camera. An obscure camera. It was designed by the man with the same surname as you, a sow, to photograph images of spirits and ghosts. But what was the camera doing inside the manor? And of course, finally, the projector. The old projector from the house I saw in my dream was developed by Kunihiko Asao, who lived in the second half of the 19th century. It uses technology of the camera obscura to show supernatural images from another plane that can be played on normal equipment. I believe... I have gathered everything I could possibly gather. We'll briefly visit our assistant and the cat. She's gone. Spirited away by the cat, I expect. It looks seems like she's having another bad dream. Can't tell what sort of dream the cat's having. Blinking at us though. Some sort of Morse code that wiggles its ears as well. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not sure what the cat wants. Yes, all is well with the world. Got Miku looking after the cat in case the cat wants something. So I guess we can safely go to sleep. How is Count? Cheekily announced his stream just after mine. People won't see my stream. Dastardly. Uh extreme have a um, the extremist right, I'll save my game so I don't have to read all that again oh uh, oh no yeah yeah that's 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 okay let us sleep for chance to dream for what dreams may come spooky spooky dreams I expect
I do see a shiny thing, but I can't reach it. We've established that. And I have no idea what I'm doing, but I guess I can return to the old haunts now that I know more information, officially speaking. Perhaps with that new information, we will see new things. Ah. Oh. I mean, I guess that ghost wants me to help find something. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense. I'm just. Would have liked some points at the very least. Oh, and it's everyone's favourite room. The stairs. Sounds like a crying girl. She's like, I know the room I need to go to is in one of these stairs, but there's like 40 of them. I'd be upset as well. Red cloth hanging over a broken mirror. Hmm. Don't have great shoes on for this situation. Unfortunately, we can't imagine ourselves in uh, more practical shoes. Gotten away from the crying, though, so that's good. Oh, what? Ah, huh. what? Okay, what was that I did? It happened really quickly and I didn't see the writing. Uh, I'm gonna... Uh, uh, that's really annoying. That could have been important. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to save my game and load my game. No, hang on. Fuck. Okay, no, I know, I know what I'll do. I'll save my game on uh, the external system, this thing here. Like so. And then I'll have to reset and load it. And we'll wanna, I want to see what that does, because otherwise I've, you know, that could have been important. the fast forward button uh, not something I'm planning on using while playing the actual game properly because uh, uh, spooky games are all about atmosphere and fast forwarding is uh, antithetical to maintaining 
that atmosphere. But uh, since we're just speeding along to try and get to a place we were just at, I'm going to give it to me this... This, this one's. Also, I just remembered I have a run button. Okay. File, save state, uh, nine. What does it say when I do this? A disused old sliding door panel has been leaned up against the wall. Okay, I don't know if that's helped me at all, but uh, we'll load the other game. Now, now it's not there. So, ah, all kinds of things can happen now. Maybe, who knows. Well, somebody's upset. Don't think you can go there, boy, but I'll check. Maybe I can fall down. Like where? Jump down there! It's a location you've not been. You'll be fine. I believe in you. Okay, she don't want to do that. So we shall move on. Get away from this crying. An image of something's been caught on a photo. Not sure what. That tea's cold. It's been too long. That's annoying. Well, we're going to exhaust this entire wing again. Uh, so everything on this floor, I guess, and then we'll go down. Hmm. Probably only a man could move it. Okay, we'll only need to find a man, so... Oh, boy. Or a strong lady. Well, stronger than this lady, anyway. Where are we? 
I can inform her to tell me Matt's the best kind of Matt. Ah, oh, bollocks, I pressed the wrong button. That's really annoying. Uh... Ooh. Hmm. Okay, I did recently save my game. Grass, a uh, glass cabinet is very grown up. It's considerably more grown up than a uh, soda stream. Like, that's an entire other level. Glass cabinet or a large chest. Although, I guess if you're an adventurer, you can have a large chest as well. I will investigate that side, but uh, oh no, hang on, that had the uh, the thingy, yeah. Move that way so I can actually see you. <laughs> yes, indeed. Not what I meant. That is very mature. Well, that's weird. That didn't happen before. Okay. Is there any particular reason why you've decided to suddenly restart the game? Oh, look! The doll moves! That's... that is very spooky. Ah, oh, fair enough. Oh, and I, I guess you're still not streaming? Reed's uh, screens hang down over the part of the room where the bedding has been spread out on the floor. Looks like it might be an important person's room. Is there no way in? Let me look at the map. We, we, yeah, I think we've basically exhausted this direction. Fair enough. Fair enough, yes. Isn't it just going to be the exact, because the dip They've not added anything, right? It's just bug fixes? If I understand correctly. Hmm. Fair enough. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess everything else you play, you stream, so...
save another game. Oh, hang on, I got a bing bang on my phone, didn't I? Oh, cool. We may have someone else joining us. Could devolve into full cat chat if we're lucky. Okay, I'm going to try the other side. see what's there. We do actually have a quicker route. Don't you wish your girlfriend was a ghost like me? No. No. Um... She, she said won't as well, John. Um... So I think the logical place to have gone. I'm glad I went that way, but let's grab this shiny thing. My shiny thing uh, is through these doors. It's one of those half pots. since it's the newest place. It's an oblong shaped choco base here. Ash is inside a damp and it looks like it's not been used in a long time. I'm judgmental about people's choco braziers. You better maintain it, otherwise I'm gonna have words. There's another shiny thing. Some phallum. There's a doll. It's a Japanese doll doing a formal pose. Or just a doll. Some hanging kimonos. Got to put them on their kimono racks, obviously. There's a gap in the wall. There should be a banister here. Should hire a barrister uh, to explain the embarrassing banister. Ban. I want to ban the embarrassing banister. Get the barrister to ban the embarrassing banister. It's the ultimate fix. If the, the cyberpunk situation is very curious. I do wonder what was stopping them from just delaying it. I mean, I guess they just didn't just didn't think it was uh, be as unpopular as it was. Oh, there's the projector. You know what? Projector. That's I think that seems like an uh, yeah. The film Impalement. Let's let's play the film Impalement. Hmm. 
We can't pick it up, but we have seen it now. And another shiny thing. Some more medicine, lovely. Not seen any ghosts in a while. All save points. That's sealed. Ah, and here are some impaled things right here. I've done research on you now. Rope festooned with white paper charms wrapped around a large withered tree. Tied to a rope is a wooden memorial tablet in the shape of a person. Hmm. That's, this tablet looks like a hard pill to swallow. This is where I came from. I don't really have any rhyme or reason to my d directions. Okay, Dianthus. Did I make a note of the Dianthus? I did. I'm going to need Diantwood to Dianthus, aren't I? Open the lock! Did I just not see this? No, it's, it's just this room again. Hmm. More kimonos. Uh, quite a lot of old ye olde Japanese storage is to do with storing kimonos. They just just didn't have a lot of space, and kimono storage was a huge issue back in those days. Or well, so the impression I am getting from this game. It's tightly sealed that door. Let's keep running about. Something's got to give. Something's, you know, give me something new to do. Like, the projector seemed like a good shout. There's quite a lot of, you know, projector based writings that we read earlier. I can hear some singing. Ooh. That's a kimono. It's a stabby girl in a stabby world. An image of something has emerged on the photo. That's sealed by some strong power. I think I might have taken a picture of that already, but... Hmm. That is perhaps our goal, though. Are you gonna make a 
different star character, like the racing car person. This is where we came from, isn't it? Ah, it doesn't take long to check. Uh, I, I warn you, because I went no guns. It gets a little bit repetitive. There's not a lot of, like, um... There's not, like, an upgrade tree that really goes with silent killing. Actually, no, I wasn't going... To... Sorry, no, 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 no. I wasn't going no guns. I was going no kills. It's slightly different. There's an old scrap of paper left behind where the girl child's ghost was. Scrap of paper! Mummy... Sorry, Daddy was trying to get my ball and fell. It was scary. Sorry. Was this to address? Okay, okay. So we we saw the ball earlier. The ball fell down. I I I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this information, but there was a ball. Now we have a scrap of paper. Uh. So, why did they decide to just not give you information anymore about what to do? Because in the other game, it's like, oh, we gotta, we better do this thing to solve the thing. And in this, it's, it's just given nothing quite often. <laughs> Go seek out something. Like, if you get a key, you know to use a key on a door, right? But, uh... I have no such key. No such key was given. Is this mystery? <gasps> did you add... Uh, did you make them base guns? Ooh. Okay, we are close to where the ball was. I have found, while you're making scones, oh, I found a film. A uh, film reel with yellow paper attached, called Impalement. Uh, but also we found a piece of paper, which I... Ooh. Hidden Carpenters. No, that's not what I'm looking for. We, we've got a piece of paper. I don't know where it goes. Okay, yes. Uh, we're gonna. We're not gonna read any of these because we read these earlier. But we want to make sure the game knows that I've looked at them. Sometimes that's a good idea. Yeah, scrap of paper. We found a scrap of paper. Presumably it goes somewhere. I don't know where, but possibly somewhere. That is about as much guidance as you get from this game. Skewered dolls. Uh, mother and daughter was new, I think, as well. The old projector. Uh, we've... Hmm. I mean, we could head back. I just don't think I've done enough to justify going back yet, but... Hmm. 
I think, therefore I am. No, what? Why does it go all green? Yeah, there's the ball. I can't walk into the ball as well. It has a physicalness to it. it can block a part of my movement. No, I don't want to go out here. Well, hang on. I guess I'll double check. I'm still really confused about why I could move this thing. Definitely haven't been down there yet. Yeah, we moved something from this wall. Oh. The thing is, since we picked up a piece of paper, uh, that that might be enough justif justification to search just everywhere again. I don't want to search everywhere again. I'd love a key about now. But, you know, we might be close to the save point. Go down here. I think I'm supposed to be, like... Like, for the amount of time I put into the game further... I think I am officially dawdling, but like, I'm not sure how much I could have done to fix that. I'm trying my best. I'm kind of glad I'm not being... Constantly attacked by ghosts, I was about to say. Don't have the child, I just have a piece of paper. There was a fourth there, wasn't there? Shit, I missed. An image of something has been caught in the photo. Oh. That seemed important. Let's develop that. Develop this. Ooh. I may have to watch all the Matrixes soon. I'm quite happy to watch all the Matrixes again. I don't think I've ever seen any of their other films. Like, I didn't see Cloud Atlas. I think I watched, like, the first half an hour of Sensei, and it just didn't... I didn't find it interesting. Uh, I like the idea of it. I'm sure there's stuff that I've not seen there. Did they do Rex Racer as well?
But there is old film in the camera obscure. I've got some musty film. I've forgotten. I think it's Flo Rider. Flo Rider was playing in the office toilets because that's got a different playlist than the rest of it. And it was Welcome to My House, uh, which is a song I've only heard in WWE uh, because they, for some reason, are really fond of Flo Rider, which is the only reason I know any Flo Rider songs. Um, and yeah, now that's in my head. So I guess there's something. Uh, Yeah, like, because it's, no, the music doesn't get picked without Vince McMahon picking it. Uh, and he's just, like, so all the, all the new metal from 2000, it's just because he was really into it. He just really enjoyed it. It's that one guy. Um, um, speaking of uh, weird, uh, I, I, I suddenly remembered, they do this Hall of Fame ceremony, which is a, uh, Obviously, a sort of a real event, but they put cameras on and they speak as if the wrestling is real, even though, arguably, at this point, it's a real ceremony just, you know, to honor wrestlers and stuff. Anyway, um, it's, t it's, it's kind of boring, and but you watch the recaps. Anyway, uh, Kid Rock was at one of the Hall of Fames because he's in the 2000s. His music was used a lot. And, uh, there's a, a really kind of... A, I've forgotten where he's called. He's from Alabama. AJ Styles. He's a great wrestler, but he's a, he's from... He's a Christian from Alabama. Uh, so uh, in one of the Hall of Fame ceremony things, Kid Rock had to do... I think he gave an, a, a, an award to somebody uh, or something, because you do that. You, uh, he did this joke about uh, uh, throwing... I think they would have called them liberals. Uh, you know, re re throwing a liberal... And that's it. That's the joke uh, Kid Rock made. And AJ Styles just thought this was the funniest thing ever. And it's just like, oh, you're adorable, AJ Styles, in your weird kind of Alabama Christianness. Um, I'd have to find the exact thing, but it's just like, what? It was such a non joke, uh, just about like casually committing violence. But like, it's resting violence as well. So, but it's just like, anyway, it tickled AJ Styles, and I appreciate that. Because just AJ Styles is weird. <laughs> anyway, the connection there was weird wrestling music things. The kimono clad mother and daughter are holding something that looks like a child. What could have happened to them? Well, we've been seeing them constantly. Well, the film's been developed. Maybe I'm, I'm assuming we need to hand this over to Miku? And uh, that's some more research done, hopefully. Perhaps we'll get some sleep. There's our little shrine. So, do Japanese homes have to have, like, an alcove ready? I mean... Yeah, no, because this, I, I assume this is a genuine, I've seen this in enough media that I'm going to assume that the whole dead person shrine in your home is a genuine thing. I'm going to assume that. And I guess because Japanese families live together, there's going to be a dead person at all times. I just want to know, is there like, oh, we're moving into a new home. Don't fill in that area. Because somebody might die, and when they do, we need to have a shrine ready. Like, do you have a... Yeah. Do you buy a shrine without having a reason for the shrine? Yeah, fair enough. I guess, because it's everything I know about Shintoism is all, like, periphery. To the point I just used the phrase Shintoism. a weird stain. I 
Yeah. I just went. <gasps> Cloth physics. The, I, I know just enough about Shinto to get mildly annoyed. I, I watched, I, I've mentioned this before, I watched like one game theory, you know, when YouTube was really pushing it as a YouTube channel. And I think it was before officially people didn't like it. Uh, and it was just about how Final, all Final Fantasies are secretly about killing gods. And like, not gods, about killing God. And... Like, a very, very, like, very, like, knowing next to nothing about Shinto, you go, no, no, it's, no, they're not. <laughs> like, they don't think about gods in that way, and it's very easy to find that information out. Uh, and also, obviously, RPGs have a sort of, uh, out, you know, I think TV Trips calls it the sorting algorithm of evil. You're going to be naturally progressing to bigger and bigger organ organizations. There's a fairly obvious end game to RPGs. There's the reasons why you end up fighting gods. Anyway, I just thought it was a really, really lazy reading of like Final Fantasies. Uh, and it just sort of gave me enough information to go, oh, it's kind of rule of cool theories rather than theories that make any sort of sense. And I didn't watch anymore. I, I watched one more episode. Uh, it was about how Mario runs faster than Sonic. Because if you measure the pixels... Like, oh, this is a wheel, and wheels are this size, therefore Mario runs ten wheels when Sonic would have... And you're like, yeah, I guess that is true. And it's like, he managed to stretch this point, like, 20 minutes, and it's like, yeah, but it's clearly just a technicality based on just the graphical stuff. It wasn't very, like, it's not very interesting. <gasps> Somebody gets to pet the cat. Yeah, I, I need to pet the cat, and I think that will help me sleep. Okay, she's got a spooky voice. It is raining again. I've got a new photo for you. Do I need to go into the sleepy world, come back out, and then pass the photo along? Did I develop? Yeah, I did. I, I did develop picture scone how do they taste do you know how much bay old bay is it old bay to put in just like because i always put way too much powder in whatever i put powder in hmm to use your scone sense I'm trying to think of a pun and one is not coming doesn't work uh when said out loud, because it's bad accuracy. Um, I genuinely don't know if I've achieved anything in this game. We're on hour three of night ten. Let's return to game. Right. We are here again. Uh, we'll play around with the cloth. Go cloth physics. Right, we've had our fun. 
Let's go to the nearest area. Have a bit of a wander. See if uh, anything jumps out at us, literally or metaphorically. I'm just going to confirm. I've not picked up any keys and I'm being stupid. That's entirely possible. Okay. Mother and daughter. The mother and child who appeared in my dreams in old-fashioned kimonos. The daughter dropped a scrap of paper. On it was an apology she had written to her mother. The child's father went to fetch the ball when she must have felt responsible for what happened. That damn ball. No, yeah, sorry, that's not why I opened up the menu. Uh, babe in arms? This is the nearest area. I'll look around again. I guess go ghosts would be patient. Farewell, brother. Did you get cyberpunk working? Oh, hang on. Did I find something? No, it's just the Japanese doll again. Well, at least we're getting plenty of film, I guess. Let's see who progresses first, you or me. There's nothing up here. I just checked this place. Just went in there, John. It's cold air from coming up underneath there. Ooh, yes. Oh, that was briefly a camera thing. Interesting. Cool. Probably worth something as well. What are you going to play on it? Ah. Oh. I played a, a Golden Eye on an, uh, an actual N64 not too long ago, a few years ago, because uh, of the gaming cafe. Uh, I don't think I'm actually gonna go for around this room. See, I'll double check. Ah. Huh. I don't think I want to go this way. I just got curious about the small door there. Yeah, let's go back. Farewell, brother. One key I found.
Okay, let's go back. Might get tan on. She said she might be on, but uh, uh, I, I don't think we're going to get cat chat. Ooh, we had a little bit of cat chat. Okay, that's for someone else to go down. Bend with your knees, not your back. I mean, I fell for her. I don't like bending my knees either, but. Better than the alternative. Map! I, uh. Let's go there, boy. I might, I might, I might just look up what to do, <laughs> see if I can get a hint. I think there's a reasonable time that I can play these this this game and not achieve anything before I go. Yeah, let's just look up what to do. Like This is where we found the girl's note. Well, there's plenty of places we can check. I mean there's some places we can check. I'm trying to think. We didn't have a, an N64 growing up, so I don't have any nostalgia attached to it. Speaking of uh, Nintendo, though, because I, I think, did I tell you? I told you I got this working. So potentially I can play Super Mario Galaxy now on my PC, um, which is an exciting prospect. Because I've got a Wii. I've got a... Uh, uh, I, I own the games. But, uh, I can't bother to set it all up. So, yeah, I mean, it's because Fatal Frame 4 requires, uh, Fatal Frame 4 is Japanese only and on a Wii. Uh, so that's why I did that. Some more film. Maybe this has changed. But I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. 